Embezzlement of funds is a horrible crime, especially when those who are in the position to safeguard it are the ones stealing it. It can only be fair to see justice served. And that brings us to today's episode of The Fraud Files. We will be looking at two embezzlement cases of Donnell Owens and Verdeen Day, who labored hard to steal their labor union's money. To get all the facts in this story, make sure you watch till the end to follow the details. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to become part of this channel, and click the bell icon to get notified of our subsequent videos. So, let's get started. 34-year-old Donnell Williams of District Heights, Maryland, a former employee of the American Federation of Government Employees, was sentenced to 15 months in prison for an embezzlement scheme in which he stole more than $270,000 from the labor union. According to the statement of offense submitted to the court and admitted by Owens, from October 2014 through June 2018, Owens worked as a secretary to the Director of Communications at the American Federation of Government Employees, a labor organization headquartered in Washington, D.C., which represents workers in various functions of the private sector and the government affecting commerce throughout the United States and overseas. During this period, Owens embezzled more than $270,000 in AFGE funds for his use and the use of others. As detailed in court documents, throughout the scheme, Owens abused and misused his position and employment at AFGE in order to seek and obtain illegal monetary gains at the expense of the labor organization. For example, Owens submitted false and fraudulent check requests for payments related to services, such as photography and videography, that were purportedly provided by alleged vendors. As a result of these submissions, AFGE funds were subsequently dispersed. These check requests listed fictitious dollar amounts for fake work assignments supposedly performed by vendors who were not actually hired by AFGE. In fact, the purported vendors who allegedly performed the fake work assignments were really friends and associates of Owens, who he recruited as part of his illegal scheme. As secretary to the director of communications, Owens also had access to an Amazon account and a union credit card linked to it. During the scheme, Owens also used this account and linked credit card to embezzle items and make dozens of unauthorized personal purchases including clothing, shoes, jewelry, and party supplies. Additionally, Owens used union credit cards to purchase items from other online retailers for personal use, including t-shirts for his online business, microphones, and flowers. To avoid detection and cover up the fraud, Owens provided falsified signatures, fraudulent expense vouchers, and altered receipts for these items. However, the investigation revealed photos of Owens, his family members, and associates wearing the clothing purchased on Amazon with the union credit card on social media accounts belonging to the defendant. Owens pleaded guilty in October 2021 in the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia to one count of embezzlement and theft of labor union assets. He was sentenced by the Honorable Reggie B. Walton. Following his prison term, Owens will be placed on three years of supervised release. He must also pay $273,745 in restitution and an equal amount in a forfeiture money judgment. In another investigation conducted by the FBI and the Department of Labor, 62-year-old Verdine Day, the former treasurer of the Detroit Firefighters Union, was suspected of embezzling over $200,000 in union funds. Day was hired by the Detroit Fire Department in 1986. She worked as a firefighter, engineer, and held other positions in the union before she was elected by her peers to the treasurer of the DFFA in November 2015. She was treasurer from December 2015 until her retirement from the DFFA and the City of Detroit in September 2019. During the four years Day was treasurer of the DFFA, she fraudulently obtained approximately $167,900 of union funds by one, issuing checks in her name and then changing the name of the payee in the union's QuickBooks software, two, cashing checks which were voided by her in QuickBooks, three, writing checks made payable to cash, and four, withdrawing cash from DFFA bank accounts. Day also fraudulently obtained money by diverting funds intended by the DFFA to be a donation to the NAACP. Day also used DFFA credit cards as her own personal credit cards while she was treasurer and after she retired. In total, she charged approximately $49,116.17 in personal expenses using DFFA credit cards. Her purchases on DFFA credit cards included flights, hotel rooms, cruises, 
car insurance premiums, satellite and cable TV service, national and state park fees, and furniture. For example, Day used a DFFA union credit card to charge $9,553 for a cruise with Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines in 2017. Day also used a union credit card to pay for another Royal Caribbean cruise, costing $8,975 on the Liberty of the Seas in 2019. She used the union's credit card to pay her bar bill at a casino in Ohio in May 2019 and for a meal at a Bubba Gump Shrimp Company restaurant in Cozumel, Mexico in 2019. U.S. Attorney Don Isan commended the work of the FBI and the Department of Labor in conducting this criminal investigation of a corrupt union officer and said, Day's embezzlement was particularly egregious because she stole from the first responders in our community. We will continue to work with our law enforcement partners to root out corruption and fraud involving unions and prosecute union officers who abuse their authority and line their own pockets at the expense of the union's membership. As treasurer of the Detroit Firefighters Association, Verdine Day had a duty to safeguard the dues paid by men and women who put their lives on the line every day to protect our community, said James A. Tarasca, special agent in charge of the FBI's Detroit field office. Today's sentencing makes it clear anyone who attempts to use their union position for personal financial gain will be held accountable by the FBI and our law enforcement partners. Verdine Day embezzled more than $200,000 in union funds in order to personally enrich herself at the expense of dues-paying Detroit Firefighters Association members she was supposed to serve. We will continue to work with our law enforcement partners to pursue union-affiliated corruption investigations, said Irene Lindau, special agent in charge, Chicago Region, U.S. Department of Labor Office of Inspector General. Verdine Day was sentenced to one year in prison, $220,043.65 in restitution to the DFFA, and two years of supervised release by United States District Judge George Karam Stee based on her conviction for bank fraud as charged in information filed by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Now we close another fraud files regarding Donnell Owens and Verdine Day, who embezzled money to satisfy their selfish desires. Remember, labor hard the right way, not the fraud way. There is no dignity in committing crimes. To make the world a better place, we must all shun away from all forms of crimes. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please labor hard to subscribe to our channel and push that like button. Stay tuned to our channel for amazing videos like this one by clicking the bell icon. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below about this event. We will see you in another Fraud Files soon. Until then, keep yourself clean from all crimes and corruption.